What's up, you guys? It's Duck back again with another video, and today I'm gonna give you guys my somewhat controversial or unpopular fashion takes. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank you guys for 400 subscribers. I'm currently at like 425 right now. The goal is to hit a thousand in a month, so you know, you guys like, share, and subscribe for me, help your boy out. Um, I'm a little bit behind schedule, but at the end of the day, progress is progress, and in comparison, I think the saying is like comparison that kills progress, so. Let's not worry about all that right now, but yeah, thank you guys for all the support. Now let's get to the video. All right, y'all, so the first one, I think it's my most controversial take. Uh, a lot of people love this shoe, but I hate Air Force Ones, G Fazos, White on Whites, Cocaines, whatever you want to call them. I hate them. I feel like they're so overrated. It's just a white, generic, bulky sneaker, and they're uncomfortable. They're bulky. That doesn't mix well. Like, I get that it's a classic, but at the end of the day, it's just a generic, boring overrated shoe to me and don't get me started on the corny motherfuckers that have like multiple pairs they wear one every day of the week i remember every single time i would watch like complex sneakers like the sneaker shopping and everybody wants to buy air force ones like no bro you don't need them and you know you don't even wear them like that and then my first pair of air force ones were in like 2019 when i, when I was still like in college i used to wear them to school and i'm just like shit, shit, shit wasn't for me so then i gave it to my dad for uh, like a week later so that's my story for Air Force Ones. You could probably call me a hype beast and say that, you know, I only like the collab ones. Like, for example, the Cactus Plant Flea Market uh, Air Force Ones. I love those. But it's different because, you know, it is different than a regular pair of Air Force Ones. And the material is a lot better. You could tell just like looking at the letter. But other than that, still, I guess you could say I'm just a hater when it comes just to generic white on whites. Next up, um, it's the Air Jordan 1 Mids. They are still lame. I don't know who told you guys that was cool. But at the end of the day, the shoe wasn't lame, I guess you could say that, but the shoe was lame. All right, so let me break it down for you guys. The colorways were always solid because they just mimicked the, the, the retro highs. Like, you know, they had the Brad Chicago's Royals. So those were fine, but at the end of the day, they had the Jumpman, and that was the issue. The Jumpman was on the tongue, and the Jumpman was on the back heel. And it was just ugly, it felt out of place, and it wasn't like the original. Also, the quality was ass. And you, this could go from, like, you could go back in time and, like, look at all of the um, the retros with the Jumpman. For example, the Jordan 3s and the Jordan 4s when they started putting the Jumpman on the back instead of the Nike Air. Those were when Nike and Jordan, they were just pushing out shit quality. And when it comes to the Air Jordan with mids itself, it's not a bad shoe. It's just a mid-top shoe. And it's comparable to, like, the Air Force 1 mids and um, the white on whites, that version. Because that's a solid shoe. But, yeah, it wasn't about the actual shoe it's more about the quality and the jump man and then i had one pair of mids and it was my only one ever and it was whenever i was in uh, middle school i think sixth grade i had the joker one mids outrageous colorway but i got those because i couldn't get the joker threes but still i loved them at the time and you know it was one of my favorite sneakers when i had when i was growing up all right so next up i want to talk about reps and you know let's talk about like you know rep sneakers rep jewelry etc I have no issue in that because, you know, you spend money on whatever you want to spend. You know, it's your money. I even had a pair of reps before and, you know, now that I look at it, it's, it's just not me and that's not what I want to represent. My actual problem with reps is the people that promote it. I feel like they, a lot of people, you know, they just spread false information talking about one-to-one -one or same factory when that's not the case. They just saying shit to try to convince you. They might be like promoting it so they could get free shit or like they're getting paid just to put you guys on so like it's it's unnecessary for me that's one two i hate it when they try to belittle people on how they spend money they would say like oh you know save your money i'm 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 you're stupid because you're spending so much money on resale and you're buying retail oh you can just buy reps you get this and you get that and they talk about saving money and shit like that but like at the end of the day you're not really saving money anyway because you buying reps you um accumulating more and more and more because it could you could even look at it as like a drug or something you just keep buying because it's so cheap but at the end of the day you still spending as much money as somebody who would buy resale or something like that but yeah man at the end of the day just don't belittle people and let people spend money how they want to spend and this comes to the people that are belittling people that buy reps too just let shit be just mind your business and keep it pushing all right and lastly um a lot of people love these two brands but i believe that minimal and jada london is so ass like Fast fashion aside, I mean, let's talk about the fast fashion aspect first. They are like the modern day streetwear fast fashion. 
they are elevated versions of like an H&M or Forever 21 or a Shein because, you know, they have all of the trendy things and popular things. That aside, what I hate is how they like steal from designers. I remember going to Minimal a lot. They would just basically have a bunch of like cheaper alternatives to Fear of God. They would they basically fit the same too. So like they just copy and shit. So that's annoying. Um, I remember Jaded London, they stole like a design for some like parachute pants or some shit like that or something like that. I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys to see. But like at the end of the day, that's just unethical to me. Fast fashion aside, I'm not worried about that right now. But just being able to steal other people's ideas and shit like that because you have like the factories to do so. Because so, then they're, they are bigger brands so they can mass produce items. For example, a small brand like me, for example... I would sell something for like $85 because my like cost of goods is about like 40 or something like that, right? While one of these big brands right here, they can make the same shit charge $60 or even $50 because they it would only cost them about $10, $20 because of the amount they could get because of the large capital or because they're a big brand. And that's just lame to me because they could just steal from the small designers and get away with it because people are looking at their like the prices and how they're cheaper and all that and then you know consumers are not really looking at it in full effect but all right y'all that's all for me um comment below some of your fashion takes comment below if you have some disagreements you know it's just all opinion based let's get a conversation going but i appreciate you guys make sure y'all like and subscribe y'all have a good day peace